guys, today is gonna be a quick video. Today we're testing if removing the membrane on pork ribs even matters at all. It's a test, I was actually thinking about doing this privately, just testing it for my own purposes. But at the last minute I thought, you know what, this is kind of interesting. I think you guys might enjoy it. So let me show you the setup I have here. Um, I'm using the pellet grill today. If you want more information about that, I'll put it in the description box. You can go check that out. But we're at 275, we've got two sets of ribs here. I trimmed them down to about the same size as you can see. Um, let me set this down real quick. So these are two different racks of ribs that I trimmed up to be almost the exact same size. I've seasoned them exactly the same. I'm cooking them right next to each other in the same cooker at 270 deg 75 degrees. This one has had the membrane removed. This one with the Q-tip has the membrane with the Q-tip. This one with the toothpick has clean ears and it has the membrane on it. So at the end of this, I'll bring you back. I'll show you, I'll do a side-by-side -side cut and we'll see if there is a difference and if it's worth removing the membrane or if it's just a step that's not really necessary. Okay, we're one hour in. I've rotated the ribs. That's the reason why I have them on a rack. By the way, it's just easier. I knew I was gonna be rotating them and I didn't wanna handle them and mess up the bark. Um, I'm using a mixture of oak, hickory, cherry, and maple pellets for those that care about that. The reason I'm cooking at 275 is because that's how I like to cook ribs. You can do it however you wanna do your experiments, but I'm cooking at 275 today. Also, I know a lot of people are gonna ask, why'd you cut them into half racks? Well, that's just because the rib racks themselves, I didn't buy them for this video, or I would have bought two full racks the same size, but by trimming these down, so that I'm using the middle six ribs, they actually turned out to be about the same size, even though the, when they were big, they were completely different size. And it also gave me almost full coverage with the membrane on one set, and of course I removed it on the other one. So it, it was a good way to make those racks of ribs in particular do a head-to-head -head comparison. So guys, I'm two hours into this, really two and a half, I'm two and a half hours. I spun this at the two hour mark. I'll give this a little temp check. Looks like we're around 165. 167. So we've probably got an hour or two left, which is fine. Boy, they smell good. They look really good. We're getting some nice pullback on these bones. Good color underneath. I think we're right where we need to be, and um, that's where I want to be. All right guys, so this cook took about four and a half hours. I wrapped them at three and a half hours because the color was looking really, really good. I didn't want it to get any darker. So I went ahead and wrapped them up. I didn't use any barbecue sauce. I didn't use any butter or anything in the wrap. And the main reason is because I didn't want to change the texture of the ribs because I'm really, I, like that's really what I feel like I'm, I'm testing a big part of this. So these are the ribs. I turned them upside down. I already cut into them. These are the ones that have the membrane on them um, still. And you can see it. I mean, you could see the texture there. Um, it doesn't just go away. So it is one of those things like if, you, if you're going to leave the membrane on, you're, you're gonna eat it. So these are the ones that don't have the membrane on them. I'll be honest, all of them look great. They smell great. Um, I'm, ex I'm excited about trying these. It actually looks like the membrane on has a better texture. Um, they're a little more cooked. Um, the, the camp that leaves the membrane on, you'll hear them say, it holds the juices in. It doesn't allow the juices to render out. You know, and then the camp that leave, take the membrane off, they say it allows smoke and 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 seasonings to penetrate better because there is no that there is no barrier so nobody disputes the fact that there's a barrier it's just whether or not the the barrier is working with you to keep juices inside the ribs or working against you to keep the smoke and the seasonings from getting inside the ribs so who knows who knows but i'm going to take a bite of these i'm first i'm going to show you these and make sure you get a nice a nice view of these they look they look good to me um and here's the one with the membrane on and you can kind of see where it tore. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite of these and I'll let you know what I think. First, I'm gonna take a bite of the ones with the membrane removed. And now I'm gonna take a bite of the top of the ones with uh, the membrane still on there. All 
All right, I'm gonna try the bottom of these. I don't think there's enough of a difference in these ribs to really have strong feelings any either way. Like I don't think I don't think there's limited smoke flavor because you leave the membrane on and I don't think these are more juicy cuz they hold what they hold moisture in because of the membrane. In fact, as far as the flavors, I think they're they're pretty much identical. I'm kind of amazed at how great they turned out. The texture of the crust, the texture of the bark is pretty much identical. Like, the only distinguished, like I could tell you which ones were made with the membrane on. I can tell you which one it is because that there is texture on the backside that doesn't bite through as cleanly. And when I took a bite, some of the rest of the rib came off with it but it didn't have the texture of masking tape that i remember and it kind of makes me wonder if the ribs that i had before where i could certainly taste the membrane um had a um were undercooked because these this was this did it faded away to almost nothing i mean there it was there but i don't think it adversely impacted my experience with these um i will probably continue to take the membranes off because i like the texture where you don't have anything in your mouth that you don't recognize but it was not nearly as big a difference as i was expecting so i'm really glad i did this experiment because um i really was expecting to sit up here and tell you that i the way i've been doing it all along is absolutely the right way and i actually don't i don't think it matters much i really don't i, I mean i don't think these both turned out really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of surprised myself because I did go into this with a certain bias and I don't think, I don't think it was right. So anyways, that's why you do the experience and that's why you do the experiment. Uh, you know, you never know until, until you actually test it out. So um, this, this was a fun one. If you want to see, I've done a whole playlist of experiments. If you want to see that, you can click on those right now. You can see all the ribs experiments I've ever done. I'd love to see you over there. I'm just kind of surprised on this one. <laughs> I really expected this to be different, but anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and we will see you over here.